Hello, um, this is um, Ahmed B2010. I just found out how to use Hypercam 2 without any lag and make it HD. Well, I don't know if this video is lagging because I'm currently making it, so this should not lag. Well, um, this video will teach you how to make your first ever DS game. Well, you're going to go to www.dsgamemaker.com. Just download DS Game Maker. After you've downloaded DS Game Maker, um, you should install the toolchain. After you're done installing the toolchain, you're going to search DSGM. Or, not just DS. You're going to click on DS Game Maker for that. Go down, go down, go down. Go up. Click on DS Game Maker. Open up control and watch it and sprites. Okay, if you're done with that, first of all, you're going to first of all, you need to at least open up a project. Name it Ball Game. Ball Game. Ball Game. Okay, uh, you should have three of everything, okay? Three rooms. Just click on resources at it. Resources add sprite, add sprite, add sprite. Resources add background, add background, add background. That's all you need. Okay. Sprite one. Now I'll go to that and I'll click load. You're gonna click on tutorial. Click on blue ball. Click open. Sprite two. Click on low. Click sprite two. Click on load. Click on tutorial. Click on the green ball. Sprite 3. Click on the Click on tutorial. Click on red ball. Background 1. Click on load. Click on tutorial. Click on game background. Background 2. Click on load. Click on tutorial. Click on lose background. Background 3. Click on load, click on tutorial, click on win background. Go to, go to room one, click on background one, put that in. Go to room two, click on background two, put that on top and bottom. Go to room three, click on background three, put that on top and bottom. Go to room one, click on actions, click on, you should be in the sprite section of this. Click on loop sprite by stylus, sprite number, well, wait, I forgot, you're supposed to place the sprites in first. Click on sprite number one, place it on a random location. Sprite number two, place it in a random location. Sprite number three, random location. Actions. Okay, move. Okay, let me just tell you this. See, when you're hovering above a sprite, the sprite number will be shown right here. So, now what you're going to click on is new sprite by stylus, hover above the blue one, click on sprite number zero for me. Okay. Click on, then click on if collision, screen at the bottom, sprite number zero, and sprite number two. Zero, and to hover above the blue one and the red one. Add that in. Switch room. Room two. Add that in. You cannot forget the end if. See this one? If you forget the end if, um, your game could not compile. It would have compiling problems, or if you put the end if in the wrong place, it would also have compiling problems. So now I'm going to type in, click on if collision. Screen bottom. Sprite number zero. As we know, blue is zero. So and sprite number one. Add. Switch room. Room. Not three. Add. We're putting in it. Click on room two. Click on action.
which one? Um, one. Click on a button press. A button press button A. And I accidentally did that. Okay, so a button press. And you press. There should be that mark. Then A. Switch room. Room one. And A. And I'll click on room three at that exact same list of actions. A button press. State. And you press button A. Switch room. And room name. One. And if. And press the play button. It should become prime. Then come down. That's any key continue. Is it key? No, wait. Wait, sorry about that not responding. It's not really my fault. It just happens sometimes. You're just gonna wait. It should be done in a minute. Okay, I'm Okay, finally. Okay, you should be able to move the blue spread if you take it to the red. This should pop up. And if you take it to the green, this should pop up. If that happens, it means you made your, um, game correctly. Thank you.